Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can descope and unpublish your primitive variables to make sure that the right variables are used in the right place across your system. In this file, I have some local variables set up. I have a primitive collection and a semantic collection. In my primitive collection, I have three sample colors, scarlet, blueberry, and aqua, in increasing darkness as we go from 100 to 200 to 300. I then have a separate semantic collection where I am applying those primitive variables as aliases. You'll see in the BG action, I've got blueberry 200, FG action, blueberry 100, etc. The challenge we have is that if I want to go and change some of my assets, for example, I have a component for the button over here at top left, and I want to change this from surface, surface brand to something like BG action. You'll see the challenge immediately where we have the primitive variables being surfaced first. This is because they are alphabetically higher in the list. What we probably don't want in our design system files and our user files is to ever see these primitives. And to do that, we open our variables back up, jump back to the primitive collection, select the top one and shift and click the rest, right click, edit variables. The first thing we want to do is to descope these primitives. This means that they will not be available in any selection in our designs. The next thing we want to do is hide from publishing. This means we never publish our primitive variables to any consumers. They only live in the design system itself. So now if I go back, select my button, change my value, you can see we're only surfacing those semantic variables that we want. So I can change that to BG action and I can change the text on the inside and the icon in the inside to be FG for foreground. We've now changed that across the instance as well. The same thing for the empty cart message, change that to my BG negative and change the text to FG negative. And same for purchase complete, change the field to BG positive and the text to FG positive. There we go. We've descoped and unpublished our primitives so that we're only seeing the semantic variables where we need to get them applied. I hope this was useful and I'll see you next time.